Houston. So let's downshift and get into higher RPM. <laughs> yeah, that's where it shines the most. Right, so. The shifts are very quick. Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 -0. Today we've got a very exciting video for you guys. I've had my Mustang tuned for about a year. I went with the Lun 93 Racing Tune. We're gonna be giving a true, honest impression of this tune on my Mustang. Uh, it's a GT with a 10-speed automatic transmission. I wanted to wait for about a year before I made this video because I really wanted to give a true, honest impression. Uh, these are naturally aspirated cars, so obviously you're not gonna see tons of difference, but there has been power increase as well. So I wanna tackle this video. Now that I've had the tune for almost a year now, we're gonna be covering three things that I'm gonna to wanna to give my honest opinion on. It's gonna be power increase, transmission tuning, and the drivability of the Mustang. Now you guys may already know the mods on the car, but this one has a coarse extreme cat back exhaust and just a drop in filter. So I don't have long tube headers. I don't have a uh, colder intake. So we've got a LUN 93 tune, cat back exhaust and a drop in filter. All right, let's get out on the road so I can give you my honest impression on the LUN 93 tune on my Mustang. All right, so we're out on the road and we're gonna test out how the Lund tune is on my Mustang. So the biggest difference are the two things we're gonna, the two things we're gonna be tackling is gonna be the power and also the transmission, especially if you got the 10 R80 like mine. And just the overall driving characteristics of the Mustang. So this is my daily driver, I wanna highlight that. That was one of the biggest thing I wanted to make sure when I was buying this tune that I can retain the daily driver characteristic. I didn't want a harsh shifting or something that's always 10 out of 10 race car. And this is the tune to pour that. So if you have a daily driver Mustang, you're just looking for a little bit extra kick, this one will be the one you wanna get. So right off the bat, I can tell the daily drivability, like as I'm driving around right now, it feels like a stock car. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean in a good way because you'll see that there is power increase as I kinda get on the car. But as I'm just driving casually, maybe commuting to work, running errands, it doesn't feel like it wants to you know, do harsh shifting or anything like that where it'd be very uncomfortable to daily drive this car. So I have no issues daily driving this car at all. Now obviously, let's talk about the fun part because that's what matters the most, uh, aside from the daily drivability, and that is going to be, is there any power increase? Is there, how does the transmission shift? Are there any changes to those things? Uh, with the LUN 93 tune, you're probably gonna see about 15 to 20 rear view horsepower, depending on the right tune and what other supporting mods you may have on your car. So not much power increase unless you're really drag racing, but you are gonna feel it. So this is the key point where you can kind of notice the power differences. So you're gonna see about 15 to 20 rear wheel horsepower difference. Uh, if you do have long tube headers, you might net about 35 to 40 rear wheel horsepower difference. Uh, but of course it costs a lot of money to be able to do that. But with just a tune, here's my impression. Uh, you are gonna feel the increase and that is gonna be from mid range. So. The shifts are very quick. <laughs> And the power difference really, like as soon as it goes over 4,000 RPM or so, the car really shines with the Lund tune. It really wants to pull and get into the power band. So I would say from mid range to high range in the RPM, that's where you're gonna notice the most power difference. So right now we're at seven, even the downshifts are a little bit quicker than what it was stock. So the tuning of the transmission also helps, but we'll cover that as well. But for the engine, um, as you're driving around, you're gonna notice a little bit of a difference. But if you really wanna get on it, you put in sport mode, track mode, whatever mode is your favorite mode, and you get on it, you're gonna feel the power difference. So let me go ahead and pull again. Just throws you back in the seat. <laughs> just throws you back in the seat and just wants to go. Gen 3 
similarities do make their power higher up in the RPM band even when stock but with the Lund tune you definitely feel a stronger pull. I've had this tune for about a year now which is why I want to hold off to kind of you know not get the excitement of the tune in the way and really give my true honest impression on a tune on a naturally aspirated motor. With the turbo cars it's much easier to squeeze power out of them but obviously with naturally aspirated car you're kind of limited so that's why I want to wait to make this video after a year and I have to say it's been tuned no issues on the car everything runs fine uh, the power difference is there especially when you get to 4000 and above rpm it definitely wants to pull so you're gonna notice a difference in the power I've come across cars that are gen 3 coyote stock or even gen 4 coyote stock and I've been able to get them without a problem because the way the the way the car pulls in the higher RPM range is absolutely crazy. So is it gonna be day and night difference? No, you have to understand it's a naturally aspirated V8. There's only so much you can do. It's pretty, from the factory, it's pretty much squeezed out you know, as much power as you possibly can. So you're probably, if it comes 460 stock, you're sitting at 480, 485 right now. So it's not gonna be a day and night difference, but you are gonna feel a little bit of extra power from the mid RPM all the way to higher end RPM. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that again. It just keeps wants to go. <laughs> so higher RPMs, where I would say is really the big difference. So let's downshift and get into higher RPM. <laughs> where it shines the most like 4,000 and above so especially if you're you know going to Mexico with your buddies you're gonna notice a good bit of difference oh nice blue Corvette um, let's get into the band again so right now it's okay <laughs> Oh boy, this never gets old. <laughs> it's been a year since I've had a tune and this is good. That's what the benefit of the Coyote motor anyways, right? You get the power higher in the RPM. Um, now, truth be told, in terms of stock driving, if you're basically commuting and you're like, I don't know, below 3000 RPM, you are not gonna feel the difference. Um, it's more or less stock. Um, it, there is, it's more or less stock. There isn't much difference, but of course, if you're if you've got a car like this, you want to obviously get on it. You want to have fun, so you are gonna feel the difference from 4,000 above RPM. That's been my personal um, experience with this Mustang GT that's been tuned on Len 93 tune. Now let's talk about. I've talked about the drivability, but let's talk about the transmission, and that's basically one of the key components because. For your drivability, you don't want to deal with jerk, jerky shifting and all that stuff. So right now, I'm in sport mode, no pedal shifters, and the car shifts just like if it was stock. Like, no difference whatsoever in terms of harsh shifting. I've seen some videos on you know, some of the other tunes, I'm not going to name them, uh, but the car really shakes violently on upshifts. It's almost like having the drag mode as your normal mode. Which, you know, if you're really trying to squeeze every bit of power and you're constantly at the drag strip, I can see why that's appealing to you. But someone who's daily driving this car, as you saw those downshifts, those are quicker than stock. So that, I will say, the downshift will be quicker than stock, but the biggest thing is that there is no issues with the drivability. It still shifts, like right now it's shifting through the gears. I don't even feel them. I'm talking to you, there's like no hiccups whatsoever. But once you get on it, you feel it. But once you get on it, you can see how quick the shifts are. Like you saw how the downshifting was, and I'll activate the paddles right now to show you the downshifting. So let's go. It's near instant. Um, So yeah, to fight really just some of the transmission tuning 
this is not dual clutch, right? So you still have pretty fast shifts for what it is. The biggest difference you're gonna notice is going to be downshifting. So as you're braking, it's gonna downshift for you. Uh, those are a little bit quicker than stock. If you're manually doing it with the pedal shift, there's more or less the same response, not much of a difference. But if you let it, if you let the car's computer do its thing, it will be slightly quicker than stock. The biggest selling point to me was that the car drives like stock when it's upshifting, downshifting. There's no harshness, so I can still enjoy the car and not feel like I'm driving a race car on the street, where it's like every upshift is just so violent. If you guys have drag mode on your Mustang, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When it upshifts, it's so violent and so aggressive and you want that on a drag strip but not when you're daily driving the car or just having fun on the back street you don't want the car's suspension to be upset when it tries to shift which is what happens with some of the tunes out there so that to me is the biggest thing that the drivability which is basically tied to the transmission tuning of this is amazing it's absolutely amazing that's one of the things I can confidently say that Luntune has got it down for the drivability. Now let's talk about miles per gallon. Um, no one really cares about miles per gallon on a Mustang GT, but it is worth noting, you know, if you're spending a lot of this money to get a tune, you wanna make sure that you're not gonna also pay more on the gas mileage. And honestly, the gas mileage on this car has been good. Um, I've always said this, if I go to Trip Fuel actually, I'm curious what it is right now. 19.2 for this trip, uh, about 1,100 miles on it right now, 19.2. And that's been, you know, the summer, and that's been, with you know, it's summer, it's a lot of fun basically having with the car. Um, but I have to say, when I got the tune, it's, I used to have around 20 to 20.5 miles per gallon. And honestly, it, it was around that after the tune. Obviously, it's been, I've been, as the weather's gotten nicer, I've been driving a little bit more aggressively, so it's dropped because of that. But when I got the tune, I did not notice any uh, miles per gallon drop, maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3 miles, uh, but you're really not gonna notice that. It was pretty much like I was driving stock. So that's what I love about this tune. It was like driving a stock Mustang, but not. Um, the things that you would want from a stock Mustang, the drivability, not compromising on the gas mileage, those were there. But in terms of the things you want from a tuned Mustang, that's what Lund Tuning got it right, where you've got more power, 4,000 above RPM, you will feel the car pull. Transmission tuning, in terms of in terms of how it downshifts and everything, it's near instant. Uh, when you've got the car in sport mode, track mode, it will do it for you. Um, it's pretty, the response is pretty instant in terms of the transmission tuning, miles per gallon, all of that stuff. So that's what I love about this tune. I, I, that it allows me to retain the daily drivability of this car, but still have fun and feel the difference when I'm out on the road and really trying to have fun with the, with the car. So yeah, guys, that's my honest review, one year honest review of the Lun 93 tune on my 2019 Mustang GT. Like I said, I want to wait about a year or so to really give my true honest impression. It is easy to get the tune, get the placebo effect of like, you are feeling the difference. And a lot of the videos that are on YouTube right now, they're basically first impressions really. And then when you've paid that much money, you're you're gonna wanna feel that your car made a difference. Nice S197 GT. But yeah, when you've paid that much money, um, you're naturally gonna feel that things are different. But with this one year review of the Lund tune, it really helps, you know, give my honest feedback to you guys. So if you're concerning a tune, I would highly recommend it. I would personally go with London 93 Tune only because I did a lot of research too. And that was basically, the drivability is what won me over. I have been to drag strip only twice. If I'm taking the car to the drag strip a lot, every 10th of a second would matter to me. But London, it still ends up being the fastest um, from what I've heard. But to me, what I want is a little bit more kick while still maintaining the stock drivability and this is the tune to get. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment below which tune do you currently have or which tune you're considering for your Mustang. And of course, subscribe to Red 5 for more videos.